Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It is a miserable day outside today. I have had a really sore throat for the last few days and I've been coughing my guts up. Even though you can't hear it, it is so sore. Um, I actually wanted to do this video um, last week, but I've just not sort of felt up to it. So, hence the delay. Anyway, you'll see this flash gun in my hand here. It is the Canon. It's, it's the Canon? A Canon flash gun. Um, so actually, what I was going to speak about was um, a. It's a gig that I shot last week. I think it was last week. Of a band called Horror or H O nine nine O nine is how they actually write it up on social media and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, the band's called Horror. They're like um, a sort of punk rock electronic I don't know they've got like a really weird vibe um, it, weird in a good way obviously not in a bad way uh, but yeah they're fucking absolutely amazing um, really great band to shoot I actually shot them two years ago for the first time um, at a venue called Soup Kitchen here in Manchester uh, one of the reasons why I love shooting smaller venues is basically you get to capture so much more of the energy compared to like arena shows and bigger shows things like that um, so there's always been a bit of um, a controversy, if you like, about using flash gun at concerts. Now, obviously, if you are shooting for a publication, um, if you're shooting for like at an arena, depending on what sort of artist you're shooting, um, there may be restrictions in place. And generally speaking, the restrictions are first three songs with no flash. However, if you're shooting at smaller venues, they tend to be a lot more lenient. Now, um, some people will say, oh no, you shouldn't ever use flash guns. To that, I just say whatever, like, if you choose to use a flash gun for concert photography, brilliant, that's your signature style or whatever it is you're trying to create. If you don't want to use um, a flash gun, then so be it, but there's no wrong or right way of doing it. Now, I absolutely love to shoot with a flash gun when I can, because I really love, um, the sort of depth that it really brings to the images and it's something that I've been doing more frequently as and when I can so um, it's a bit of an issue as it shows up as some inconsistency with photography um, sometimes but um, it really is about the post-production and how you finish your images and um, so what I did do at the horror show was use my flash gun because I had the option to and um, it was at a small venue uh, it's a venue called rebellion here in Manchester and they really cater to sort of metal shows um, that type of thing and that vibe was absolutely amazing um, but yeah when you're using a flash gun, what I would really say, there's no wrong and, wi wrong and right way of using a flash gun. Um, I would say really just experiment with the settings on your camera and also your flash gun. So this isn't a really a how to use a flash gun for music photography, um, but I just wanted to put it out there, like don't be afraid to use a flash gun if you feel like that is something that you want to practice with or something that you want to incorporate into your photography because, you know, it works for certain shows, it might not work for some shows. Also with a single flash gun, you can create some amazing um, portraits, um, really quick portraits, and that's something that I'm gonna be, once we've moved out of this place, I'm actually gonna have one, uh, like a whole room in the house for my sort of office space. At the moment, I'm in this room, which for a while has been sort of like my sleeping room, and also my office in the little corner. So um, once I've got like, the actual space I am going to be doing more tutorials um, based on these types of things but um, yeah you can get some really amazing um, results even just using one flash gun and if you start incorporating two and three flash guns into your setup absolutely amazing results you can really create um, so a little bit about the show the show was absolutely amazing I'm just gonna throw this onto my bed here um, the show was absolutely amazing if you guys haven't seen or heard of horror you should definitely check them out they are absolutely incredible the energy is absolutely amazing as I said I shot them two years ago um, and I really wanted to just share the photos really with you guys um, and to show you sort of 
the differences between shooting with flash and without flash um, obviously you'll be if you've seen photos like on agency photos uh, say for example if you go into Getty Images um, and the live shows they tend to a lot of the time be that you can't use a flash gun and um, so I'm just gonna attach a um, a little slideshow at the end of this video just to show you sort of what images or the style of images you can create using a flash gun and um, this one uh, this shoot was actually for a magazine oh yeah that was my second point the um, so this this shoot was for a uh, sort of online publication I'm not sure if it's gonna go to print but it's a magazine called the skinny here in the UK um, however um, the north they used to have like different sort of regions so you've got like down in London type of area down south then you have the north the northern region so uh, the northern region one is actually folding uh, so for the, those of you who don't know what the word fold means in terms of publications it means that they're actually closing the publication down so my second point was basically if as a freelancer you should really sort of um, be open to different revenue streams so don't always put your eggs into one basket so you might you know you might love music photography or concept photography but don't be afraid to you know shoot at um, like an event or um, a wedding or portrait sessions whatever There's sort of it, it brings more diverseness into your work um, and sort of you might find that actually you don't like to shoot one type of um, one genre, one, you know what I mean, um, a photography, but you prefer the other, so that, you know, especially if you're starting out, that would be like a huge thing, um, in kind of finding your niche, I suppose, but that's pretty much it for this one, guys, I just wanted to kind of say, yeah, don't be afraid to use a flash gun, um, and show you guys what you can sort of achieve with a flash gun for concept photography, and just to say, don't, you know, have all your eggs in one basket, because other people might not tell you that they do these multiple things, nine times out of ten, a photographer does heaps of other work, it's not just the one type of um, income stream for them so um, if you guys have got any questions obviously feel free to leave a comment below um, don't forget to hit the subscribe button as I say I will be sharing sort of more tutorials and that type of thing I do really want to find out what you guys want to see on this channel so um, if you got you guys have got any ideas for content uh, things like that feel free to leave a comment and I will obviously create a video around that um, and that is pretty much it hopefully don't know for sure but maybe the next time that I do a video it will be at the new place so fingers crossed for that one um, and that is it guys here's a gallery from the show also uh, I'll link you um, back to the website in the info box so feel free to head on over look at the other work that I shoot and I will be back very soon bye for now guys